it, it, as we were talking, one of the things that came to mind, um, obviously with Oklahoma statehood or territorial status and then statehood and sort of the erosion of um, tribal sovereignty, um, which makes some of this possible, I wondered how is this potentially going to change um, in light of that recent Supreme Court decision where they kind of said that actually tribal land and tribal sovereignty is actually still very much alive. Mm. And we, we kind of messed up there. <laughs> <laughs> yes, they didn't do what they could have done back then. So, um, I mean, it was great to see an affirmation of that. Uh, right now, it's kind of working its way through uh, how it's going to be applicable through criminal justice. Um, I would love to see um, tribes tax like the oil and the gas that is in the region. Um, all of those companies would hate that, obviously. Um, but yeah, it's it's a reminder that you know things that happened in the 19th century are still very much relevant today, mm -hmm. and also a reminder that those treaties are very important. And if tribes want the American government to abide by those treaties and they themselves need to abide by those treaties and the promises they made to their former slaves. Right, I was just going to ask if so that would also change obviously the dynamics that African Americans face in in Oklahoma today that there's treaty stipulations that now would have to be li uh, lived up to, right? You would think so. Um... Well, I hope so. <laughs> Yes, I mean, I think it sets an undeniable legal precedent, but the unfortunate truth is that most of these tribes, other than the Cherokees right now, who are doing great, uh, are going to have to be forced through the court system. Uh, it sounds like there's another book in the makings then eventually on how, how native sovereignty and statehood interact together and the Supreme Court making decisions. I'm definitely going into the slightly more modern day with book two. I was going to ask, what, what are your future plans there with the next project, if you are willing to share? I'll share just a little bit. Um, it will look at Supreme Court decisions. It will look at more recent kind of interactions between Freedmen descendants and these tribes and also um, the narratives that these tribes tell about themselves, which usually exclude uh, Black people who were part of their nations for over a hundred years. Wow, that, that does sound interesting. So just